Okay, so we're back in the new tech kit, and today we're going to be doing a power armor tutorial. Yep, which has been updated in the new tech kit, and it's got some pretty awesome updates, but some of them are a bit annoying. So do you want to show them how to make some power armor, Joe? Uh, yeah, this is what you're going to need for power armor. You're going to need this thing, which is called a tinker table, and then you're going to actually need the okay. armor and a power gauntlet, which is like the, the tool thing that you can see in my hand there. You get a ton of melee attachments for it, and Joe will show you all about them. Yeah, so what you want to do is, if you right click on the tinker table, there you see all the power armor and power gauntlet right down the side if you've got them in your inventory. And then when you click on one of them, you can see all these different things that you can install. So, for instance, on the boots, we're going to have the energy shield, which is like the this is the armor thing here, and you can have iron diamond plating or energy shield. Now the diamond plating is pretty good but the energy shield doesn't weigh anything and that's why it's better. Now I just yep. have to turn on creative because you do need some stuff for uh, to actually install these modules. Like you see, you see for the energy shield you need two force field emitters. I yep. won't be showing you the rest of crafting recipes for that because you can just use the uh, uh, menu yep. to find the recipes. On this, on the different uh, weapon, uh, armor Different some upgrades actually. The more you upgrade them, the more weight they give onto the armor, which slows you down, which is really annoying. But some things you really do need, and it doesn't matter about the weight. Yeah. Pretty uh, much. Yeah. So and just like if you upgrade the batteries, that'll put more weight on onto the armor. Uh, oh god, damn it! I'm overheating. <laughs> yeah, you could show oh, yeah. all about overheating. Yeah, we'll show you that armor. later. So this is the legs. We're gonna have the sprinter assist. The what did you say? sprint assist. <laughs> sprint assist. Yeah, sprint assist. The um, jump assist and the swim boost. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, we're also going to put in the kinetic generator so it doesn't run out of power too quickly. Which is really useful. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you might. You got to be careful with the amount of power you kind of lose on these things because you want to get the right balance between size of batteries and then the power, kind of like power consumption of other things. Yeah. That makes sense. Because if you've got too big a battery, it'll just be too heavy, so it won't work. Yeah. Now you can also change the color of the armor with this, and yeah, if you don't just go uh, off the menu, you can make it transparent and stuff. Yeah, armor. I can see you while I'm in the menu. Never mind. That's oh, pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Right, red. No, Boom. it's not cool at all. <laughs> I got it. So an energy well. shield on this as well. Heat sink. Elite battery. Solar generator. Just doing some teleporting behind you. Boop, boop. Yes, I can see that. And now <laughs> you can also install an airtight seal onto your helmet, which is oh, for yeah. the Galacticraft mod. If you ever want to go to the moon or somewhere. Yeah, which is I think at the moment is really useful because they currently got a glitch. Meaning you can't get. Yeah, we're not air. actually sure about that because there has recently been an update and we're not sure if that's been fixed. Yeah, but we'll be doing a Galacticraft tutorial soon, so hope you watch it. Yeah. Uh, there you are. Oh god, I'm stuck on this elevator. We should really. Sh I mean, there's. Uh, there are, uh, conveyor belt. We should really get rid of that. Yeah, we probably should. Now, <laughs> these are all the things that you can install into the uh, power tool, and we'll be showing you uh, what kind of stuff you can use this for. In a sec. Whoops, so daisies. Leaf blower. Uh, I died from the overheating, which is painful. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, no matter how. M oh, Joe will tell you actually when he finishes making his awesome armor. Yeah, so this is the plasma cannon, and you can see it's got amperage and voltage. So if you have both of them at, at full, it will do a lot of damage, but it'll also explode stuff. So what I want to do is, if you turn down the voltage right down to zero, it'll still do the same amount of damage pretty much, but it won't explode anything. Yeah. Which is pretty which, good. Yeah, but if you do want to explode something, oh crap, I keep on overheating myself. Just look over to here, I'll do a quick demonstration. Where's it gone? There, there it is. Joe, where have you gone? Uh, I can... Boom! And it's not too big, but supposing it doesn't use up too much power and you can kind of spam it. Right, yeah, so you can see fast. I'm now running very fast and jumping incredibly high. Wait, Joe, how much damage does this do you? Which is great. One sec, Joe, can I see how much damage this does you? Oh god, stop moving. I'm uh, on creative. So you see it's got some pretty awesome textures for it. That only did me half a heart, but they oh, can exactly. one-shot most mods, mobs. It says you went to do 20 hearts of damage to you, it says on the thing. Yeah, but I've got full energy shields. Yeah. But yeah, so 
stuff that protects you from. If you want to select the different things with the power tool, you just shift scroll on the power tool so we can have the plasma cannon. Oh, you've got the omni, you can get an omni wrench uh, update on it, which, I mean, the crescent hammer is it? Which no, it's an omni wrench. Oh, it's the omni wrench on this. Which means you can use all the different kinds of wrenches in one, which is really useful. Yes, that is quite useful. I just set it to midnight so that oh, we get yeah, a few mobs, mobs spawning. Board. So you can test out Ooh. some of these cool stuff. There's this an is a there. um another th these things here. Oh yeah, and the uh, shovel, super fast shovel, and super fast pick as well. Yeah, it's seriously it's pretty this cool. Is, this is one of the best things on the new tech kit. Yeah, and then this thing is called a lux capacitor. You can basically fire. It's basically a torch that you can fire, I guess, like a it cooler version of it. Of what a torch. Is it, is it? How much light does it produce? I don't know. Ah, I'm overheating. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's what happens. If you see on the left of the screen, right over over on that on the, sorry, not the left, the right of the screen, there's a little overheat bar thing. That's the lava. And if that gets above the top, that means you're going to overheat and possibly die. Wait, Joe, come, seriously, watch this. Where have you gone? You disappeared again, Joe. Oh, there you are. No. Spam, right click. But one babe. thing I could do is install a cooling system onto my chest plate, which should help it cool down a little bit faster. Yeah. I'll also yeah, be, be tinker this heat. Because it will ignore your armor, so you may think because you've got full power armor, it won't do it much. Yeah, it to does fire, ton. But it does well, dance. yeah, it does a lot of damage. Armor oh. piercing damage. So yeah, this is the ore scanner, and if you've ever played Tech It Classic, it is basically the um or, or the divining rod yeah e2 it's the divining rod basically you right click and it says the value the total the ore value more valuable it is the more ores there are yep so now for the blink drive oh my god this is one of the awesomest things like the boom, void ring boom. Ba -da -boom, ba -da -boom, ba -da -boom, boom yeah. Oh my god. This uh, and also you get this blade launchy thing that Ooh. does a decent amount of damage, I guess. It does quite a lot, I think. Yeah. I suppose. I suppose it's kind of like a. And then the rail gun. gun. Oh, Joe! I don't think it overheats. That's that's Boom. the advantage. Oh yeah, that's the advantage of it. Yeah, it's, that's pretty good. Because everything else. Rail gun. This can one-shot skeletons and zombies. Okay, but try the two-shot Enderman. Try the rail gun, Joe. And have you seen the recoil you get from it? Yeah, I know, it's crazy. If you jump, then shoot, you can go higher. Yeah, look at this. I'm not going to jump at all. I'm just going to shoot. Look, I'm not jumping, I'm not flying anything. This is just the recoil from the ray gun. Except it ridiculously overheats yourself. Yeah, which is kind of annoying, actually, but I guess yeah, yeah. it's okay. Well, I think if you take away the less power, it should be okay, because it does one-shot pretty much everything now. Yeah, actually, I guess, yeah. Pretty powerful. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much... Oh, have you showed the invisible armor? Can you Everything. Oh yeah, uh, you can recolor the armor, or you can, uh, if you really like your skin or something like that, you can make it transparent. So, so if you see now, it looks like I'm not wearing a helmet when in fact I am. Yeah, which is really cool actually. If you want someone to attack you, I think you're not wearing any armor. Yeah. Ooh, we're running off, Joe. No. Okay, I'm kind of cheating because I'm flying, and then I've got the speed boosters. Oh yeah. Yeah. Also so. One last thing, gotta be really careful that you don't kind of run too fast, because sometimes you can load more than the server stash of computer can handle. It's yeah, it crash. can be quite laggy. That's not so much of a problem with this uh, new tech it, because you can't actually run as fast as you could with the old power oh, suits. yeah, old vault power suits, super fast. Yeah, they were just crazy. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yep, we so we'll will see, see you next time. Yep. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.